You might find yourself driving one day and notice that your oil pressure light is flickering at you and wonder to yourself, how do I tell if my oil pump is bad? Well, it's not always that easy to tell. Uh, generally, one of the first things that you ought to do is to check the basics. Uh, first off, check your oil level. Actually, take out the dipstick and make sure that the level is proper. Oil level that is either too low or for that matter, too high, can cause the oil pressure to be low, which could cause the light to come on. The next step would be to determine if there is a problem with uh, whatever turns the light on itself. Most cars use an oil pressure sender or an oil pressure switch, and this is a typical oil pressure switch and it's possible that the problem that you're having is only related to a problem with the switch itself. So we really need to find out first off what's the truth. Uh, it, it's possible that the sender could be lying to us. So what we would need to do first off is to actually take a wrench and remove the oil pressure sender and then with the proper adapters actually install a manual oil pressure gauge and take a reading as to find out what the real oil pressure is. Low gauge readings or a light being on will normally occur um, this, this an oil uh, okay an oil pressure light coming on or a low reading on your dash gauge is caused typically when one of these senders senses less than two pounds per square inch. But it can also happen if the internal diaphragm leaks. So that's why we're going to hook up a, an oil pressure gauge and find out what the pressure really is. Once the gauge is installed, we have to run the engine at full engine operating temperature and see what happens with the pressure at idle and at cruising RPM. So what we'll do is we'll do that and see if the pressure is indeed low. If the pressure still actually shows to be low, we need to investigate other things. In order to check the oil pump itself, it may be necessary to remove the engine oil pan or other components to gain access. Here we have one that's already been removed from a vehicle, and I'll remove the plate so we can actually see the pumping gears on the inside. The way that the oil is pumped is through the rotation of these gears causing the chambers to expand and then compress in order to cause a pumping action of the oil. The tests that we do in here are, are twofold. First off, we'll do things like measure using a straight edge, uh, the clearance in between the surface and the gears. Compare that to specifications. And we'll also measure the clearance in between the gears. If either of these things are found to be excessive, then the pump must be replaced. 